Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Now have you ever wondered exactly how much our character can tolerate when it comes to being underwater, being under pressure, being in space, and all that good stuff? Well, follow along because we're gonna test it all. So here we have our hard hat, our safety vest, and an ambulance standing by, and we're gonna do all these tests to determine exactly what our character can do. Now in these chambers we have different types of fluid. In the first one we have regular old seawater. Then we have diesel, then we have jet fuel, and then we have slurry. Now all these different compounds are technically different for our skin in real life, so we're going to see if they harm us at different speeds. So we're just going to start to go under this in these tanks and watch exactly how fast our information or our body drains of air and drains of um, oxygen until we pass out. Now keep in mind no characters were harmed in the making of this. Next up we have diesel fuel. So we're in here. Now in real life maybe you would not suffocate at a different rate if you were inside different types of these uh, liquids. But what you would have to do is wash yourself off good after this. So even if the time it takes for our character to sort of pass out in these chambers, um, necessarily maybe in real life that would not be the case because you'd be contaminated. Now not short term effects, but definitely long term if you don't get yourself washed off quite quickly. So I would like to see that implemented in the game in terms of like a realism where if you bathe in oil water or slurry water or diesel or something you have to go and take a shower and get decontaminated otherwise maybe you lose health slowly over time. Now one of the interesting things to also note is the fact that inside these chambers we can't swim around whereas in the actual ocean you can swim fast. Now, the why I say that is because when you're swimming and sprinting and all that stuff, you use up more oxygen. So in theory, staying stationary should make your health last longer than if you are putting yourself under effort or swimming hard, for example. So we're gonna test that out here as we go underwater and then I hold shift and we swim rapidly. So now we're putting more pressure or more effort than if we were just staying stationary. Now I don't think the game accounts for these differences and honestly we don't have a long time underwater. In real life we'd have much longer, up to even 3-5 to five minutes for a healthy adult person and longer if you are a diver or seasoned expert. Now while I don't agree that the game should have the characters holding their breath for 5 minutes which would seem very long, I do think that maybe they could implement some kind of training system where you work out your avatar or character, kind of like in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. If anyone remembers that where you can let CJ become all fat or you can work him out and build up his stamina. So it would be interesting to kind of have either a gym facility or by running around or something we can almost create a character that is more capable of being underwater and maybe has more strength and that type of thing. Different depth should also increase the rate at which our breath is used up. Uh, obviously there is higher pressure the deeper you go and your lungs physically cannot hold as much air because they're being compressed. Now I believe currently the game does not take into effect the different amounts of um, pressure that our body is being put under for term in terms of how fast our health is used up. But you could see here that as we get in the water we're cold so if we watch very carefully now they're built it's building pressure so it does play a role eventually now i think that that may be related to the fact that when we hover over the scuba gear it tells us that it can allow da diving up to a depth of 40 meters for two minutes and when we go to our diving gear it allows 10 minutes at a depth of 230 meters so much much more we're going to use this little test rig to sort of see exactly what happens when we go down past these depths. First we're going to try it with scuba gear. So we release ourselves and watch as the display drops. I don't quite know how deep this area is, but 
it should start to affect the diving gear quite soon here. Or scuba gear, rather. So these are the same. We're at 100. And it's not actually doing anything, which is quite interesting. And as we drop further down, the bottom should be coming up at some point. There we go. Now the pressure started. So it started at our depth here of 170 rather than at our depth of 80, I believe. My apologies, 40. So the description says that it will start to get damaged at a depth of 40 meters, yet here we are at 180 and it's slowly decreasing the pressure that, or the health that we have. So that is using the scuba gear. In theory, the diving gear won't have a problem at this depth. So we're going to test it. We're wearing the diving gear. We're going to release everything off this and let this little rig fall. Now we have to wait until we fall down past the 170 that we had previously. So I'll get back to you when we do. We just passed 160, 170. I found a little bit more deeper area. Well, 170. And you can see now the diving suit does not injure our health. So we're not being injured by the pressure at this depth. So it is confirmed that the better option to have in terms of what you wear would be the diving suit the scuba suit is only for kind of going underwater in shallow places we would have to go deeper for that to affect us which i don't want to test out but quite interesting that it's actually broken in fact the scuba gear does not work properly at least does not work with what the description says so that is kind of interesting the next test we're going to do is to find out what pressure can hurt our health. So what we've did is emptied out this of seawater and put air in the smallest little gas tank. So we'll see what this actually ends up increasing the air pressure in this chamber too. So if we've hopped into the chamber, we're at an atmosphere of one. If we open this valve up, we get to 2.5, which does not hurt our health. So that part is at least safe for us to be in. The next sized tank is the kind of uh, not small one, or rather the tubular. And if I go ahead and open this valve, oh, we are getting injured. So four pressure of four, and it's starting to injure us. And it kind of wants to shoot us up. And now it fully is back to one. So four did seem to damage our health. And what we can do is find exactly what threshold is by trial and error and see at what point does our health start to get damaged versus um, being safe to kind of be in a chamber with that. So let's open this up again. We're at 3.5 and we're not getting injured. So it's right between that sweet spot it seems between kind of 3.5 and 4.5. Maybe at 4 exactly is the hard cutoff and that is when we start to lose health. So I'm going to hop on in and we'll see that cutoff point if I open this and watch the barometer. At exactly 4, we start to get injured. Now, keep in mind and watch the corner of the kind of health bar as the, the speed at which it drops. It's just barely over 4. But if I turn this other valve, increase the pressure, look at that. It speeds up drastically how fast our health drops so if it's four it's just like a little bit of health loss well it's not that slow but it's much slower than at six atmospheres so that's kind of what we learned with this setup the pressure is that di directly related to the speed at which our health decreases so that's good to know and that's really cool and realistic next i want to determine if low pressure can injure the character so I've put a pressure of zero inside these gas tanks and the reason I'm doing this is because if I do this it shouldn't eliminate all the air whereas if we use a pump to take it out we're gonna start to lose health because of not having air so if I do this and we watch the pressure we're sitting in a quite quite a low pressure environment now 
Now it's not quite zero, but it's getting quite low. So it's not injuring our character, but if we look here, the amount of oxygen is still good enough for us to breathe. So we're breathing and stuff, but here is this pressure. I've added more air tanks to try to get it to be even lower of a pressure. So if I open this second valve, wrong valve, there we go. I want to get this lower than the two we had previously. Let's see if we can get it into the single digits. But if we watch our oxygen level, it is also dropping. So keep in mind that as we did that, it also removed the oxygen. But it seems that this low pressure environment... Oh, there we go. Now, is that because we don't have enough air? Or is that pressure? Looking at that little symbol, that to me looks like it's pressure rather than air. As you can see here, our levels of oxygen, we got 36 liters of it, whereas the pressure is not, but it, it's weird, it wasn't like a nice like 0.1 cutoff, it was a very abrupt type of cutoff. We're going to test this theory again, and this time we have an oxygen mask, so we're actually going to be able to add oxygen to our character system and see if it is in fact the low pressure causing our health damage or if it's just the lack of oxygen in this chamber so you can see that we're below this threshold and it's starting to drop but if i press left mouse button it's not working not quite sure if i'm pressing something wrong here So that to me said that we weren't lacking oxygen, we were in fact lacking or being injured by the pressure. I want to do the same test with scuba gear this time to see if having scuba gear prevents us from being damaged in low pressure situations or if it is not. So we could see this dropping down and we're not being injured as it drops. So. The scuba gear, though, does allow us to be underwater in high pressure situations, so it may be equivalent that it is also helping us in this low pressure situation, but granted we're using this oxygen to breathe. If I take this off, instantly I get injured, so which, is which is interesting to me. It's as if it's the lack of air rather than the lack of... Um, than the pressure or the low pressure that we have here. But as you can see here, we got a very, well, 20, 30 liters of oxygen in here, which isn't great, but it's also not nothing. So not sure, but it is also considered a ratio. So consider the fact that it's 30 or 28 liters out of 138. So it's a quite a small percentage of the gas in here is oxygen. For the last test, we're in space, we have our trusty ambulance, and we're going to take a look at what happens when we remove our spacesuit. So obviously we know in space, one cannot and should not be without a spacesuit, but what exactly happens when we take it off? You can see both our oxygen level and our health go down pretty much at the same time, implying that we're both being crushed or affected by the lack of the... Um, by the lack of pressure down here. So that's number one. And number two is the fact that there is no oxygen. Oh, now we're on the ambulance. So that was obvious, but an interesting little test for sure. With that said, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Hopefully learned something, learned how these, um, learned how the parameters of the game work when it comes to our character or our avatar and hopefully found this entertaining so thank you for watching stay tuned for more content more creations and as always happy stormworksing everyone